Today's lesson is double digit division. Our first example is 2,984 divided by 32. We're going to start with the question, can 32 go into 2? No. Can 32 go into 29? No. How many times can 32 go into 298? Since we're trying to guess how many times 32 can go into 298, we're going to use the cover technique to estimate. We're going to cover the 2 and cover the 8 and say how many times can 3 go into 29 without going over. That's going to be 9, so we're going to try 9. Now we're going to multiply by the 1 spot. 9 times 2 is 18, put down your 8 and carry your 1. 9 times 3 is 27, plus your carry of 1 is 28. Now we're going to subtract and we get 10. Since 10 is less than 32, we know that 9 was a good guess, a good estimate. This number, when you subtract, can never be equal to or larger than your divisor. All right, we're going to cross out our carries. Bring our next number down. Cross out our carries. Now we need to find out how many times 32 can go into 104. So we're going to use our cover technique again. Cover the 2, cover the 4, and ask how many times can 3 go into 10 without going over. That will be a 3. 3 times the one digit of 2 is 6. Now we're going to multiply by 10 spot. 3 times 3 is 9. And when you subtract, you get 8. Since 8 is less than 32, we know that 3 was a good estimate. There's no more to bring down, so we know our final answer is 93, remainder of 8. Now we're going to try one more. 8,907 divided by 74. Can 74 go into 8? No. Can 74 go into 89? Yes, it can. Now we know it can go one time, but just to keep it consistent for the students, we're going to use the cover technique to estimate. We're going to ask how many times can 7 go into 8 after we covered the last digit. That's going to be 1. Now we're going to multiply by the 1 digit. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 7 is 7. When we subtract, we get 15. 15 is less than 74, so we know that 1 was a good estimate. Now we're going to bring down our next digit, which is 0. Now we have to find out how many times 74 can go into 150. So we're going to use the cover technique again to estimate how many times. And we're going to ask how many times can 7 go into 15 without going over. And that's going to be 2. So we're going to try a 2. We're going to multiply the 2 by the 1's place. 2 times 4 is 8. And now by the 10's place. 2 times 7 is 14. When we subtract, we get 2. 2 is less than 74, so that we know that 2 was a very good estimate. We have one more number to bring down, so let's bring that one down. Now we need to know how many times 74 can go into 27, and it can't. So we're going to put a 0 to show that it cannot go in. Now we're going to multiply. 0 times 74 is 0. 27 is less than 74, so that's a good estimate. There's no more to bring down. So we know that our answer is 120, remainder of 27. This next one we're going to divide the decimal and the dividend. So this problem is going to be 201 and 6 tenths divided by 42. We're going to take the decimal and we're going to pop it straight up into our answer. And now we're going to divide normally. Can 42 go into 2? No. Can 42 go into 20? No, so it's going to be how many times can 42 go into 201? We're going to use our cover technique to estimate. So cover the 2, cover the 1, and ask how many times can 4 go into 20? Since it goes in exactly, we're going to estimate the number right below. So it goes in 5 times exactly, so we're going to try a 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 4 is 16. When you subtract, you get 33. 33 is less than 42, so 4 was a good estimate. We have one more number to bring down, so let's bring down our 6. Now we need to estimate how many times 42 can go into 336. So we're going to use the cover technique again, cover the 2, cover the 6, and ask how many times can 4 go into 33 without going over. And we're going to estimate an 8, and we're going to check it out. If it's not 8, it's going to be very close. 8 times the 1 spot is 16. 8 times 2 is 16. Put down your 6 and carry your 1. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33. When you subtract, we get 0. There's nothing else to bring down, so 4 and 8 tenths is our answer. The 
The last thing we're going to do is a division problem where there's a decimal in the dividend and also in the divisor. This problem is 936,000 divided by 52 hundredths. We cannot have a decimal in the divisor, so we have to get rid of it. So we need to swing it to the right to get it to the very end of this number so that we can drop it. And whatever we do to the outside, we have to do to the inside. So let's watch our decimal and see how many times we have to swing it. Let's count. Once, twice. So we swung the decimal two times, and now we can drop it. But what we did to the outside, we have to do to the inside. So we have to swing this decimal over once, twice. And now that it's over here, we can pop it straight up into our answer, and we're ready to begin. Since both numbers now begin in zero, you can cross the zeros out. If this is confusing, you can rewrite the problem. 52 goes into 93.6. If it's not, you can keep it just like it is. So can 52 go into 9? No, but it can go into 93. So we're going to use the cover technique, cover the 2, cover the 3, and ask how many times can 5 go into 9 without going over. We're going to guess a 1. 1 times 52 is 52. And when you subtract, you get 41. Since 41 is less than 52, we know that 1 was a good estimate. We have one more number to bring down. That's going to be 6. We're going to use our cover technique, cover the 2, cover the 6. How many times can 5 go into 41 without going over? We're going to guess an 8. Now we're going to multiply the 8 times the 1 spot. 8 times 2 is 16. Put down your 6 and carry your 1. 8 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. Put down your 41, subtract. We get 0. 0 is less than 52. There's nothing else to bring down, so 1 and 8 tenths is our answer. This concludes our video segment on double digit division. Now it's up to you to practice. I hope this video aids in your understanding of the process.